are alive at the opening round of the GSSSA playoffs. Senior boys action, CI Gibson Rattlers, the top seed in the GSSSA against the defending champs, but fourth seed this year, Anatol Rogers Timberwolves. They're logged on 10th, their seniors TV. I'm Ronaldo. Randy's somewhere doing something. I don't know. He'll be here on the broadcast in a minute. Tell then I'm flying solo. So right away, the Timberwolves with a trip to the line, Kirkland Farrington. He'll miss two. And that's Terrence Storr from the corner. The Rattlers are a team that likes to run. Fast break points will come at a premium for them. But if Storr is making that jumper from the outside, they're going to be tough to beat. Butler now will try a three. This three is short. There comes Jason McCarty the other way for the Timberwolves. Double clutches and he'll miss a layup. Samara roll with the layup for the Rattlers and a quick 7-0 lead. Okay, so Randy has finally found his way to the broadcast booth. It's actually not a booth. No, uh, we said not. No, this is legit right the most uh, ghetto commentary that's <laughs> ever been done in the history of I basketball mean, played anywhere. We're, we're sitting on a platform. We don't have chairs. I don't even know how sturdy this is, but... It's fine. It's actually not fine, but we hope it's fine. But okay, I needed you to be on the broadcast for this reason, right? Right. We gotta talk sneaky game first before we talk actual basketball. Now, well, if I if I can see the court, then interesting, <laughs> interesting <laughs> choice by Anatol Rogers, right? Yeah. Their uniform is navy blue, and they went with the lightest blue in it. Yeah, with with, with the baby blue highlights, right? You gotta go white. But they got red sneakers, so they accessorize with red. Red sneakers, red head by Your thoughts? I don't like it. The contrast I mean, is good. Nah, that's like. A disgusting look, honest. Like, why would you even go red with this? And gray socks? Not even white socks, camo socks? I mean, we'll see how it turns out. Right now, not working the best for him. Down 10, nothing. Who called in the shots, though? I don't know. I think you gotta let the players call that, right? So, trailing 10, nothing right away. McCarty comes the other way for the Timberwolves, and he is fouled. McCarty is a senior this year, right? Um, I can never tell. No? Probably? Probably, probably is. So foul called on Tavon Scott of the Rattlers. And the Timberwolves finally get on the board. I'm interested to see how he developed um, since last year, McCarty. You know, without Bridgewater now, who carried such a load for such a long time for this team. I'm interested to see what some of these players develop into. And a quick three points for the Timberwolves. Kelsey Riley. But yeah, you're right on that. McCarty played somewhat of a complimentary role to Dominic Bridgewater for several years. Bridgewater, of course, now has moved on to the U.S. So this team is basically McCarty's team, and he's going to have to carry it if they hope to pull off this upset and advance the championship. Well, he, he's more of a pass-first kind of guy, but um, with this team, you probably have to take on more of a scoring role. They made it to the playoffs, so obviously they figured it out to some degree. So. It'll or be interesting to see. It could be that a lot of the other teams just suck. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt, though. Okay. I mean, you do that. <laughs> Tavon Scott at the line misses the first one. So Scott makes the second. 
You know in the GSSA, it's always a game of runs. Well, in any basketball, really, you could say that. But really, because all of these teams play up-tempo, everybody's into fast breaks. So an eight-point lead is not safe by any stretch of the I imagination. Mean, but we've also seen a couple blowouts today. So that eight-point lead could suddenly jump to 16 in a hurry. I mean, it's because the players are so athletic. When you, when you look at a team like CI, a team like Anatol, uh, you know, we saw Sock yesterday, a team that looked like they could be a football team. <laughs> but when you got, uh, you know, these guys, they're so athletic, so fast. Sometimes, sometimes they have to play that, that up-tempo style. Oh, some threes early, though. Like I said earlier, C.I. Gibson, this is a team that runs. They're going to score most of their points on fast breaks. They're going to try and press you and turn it over. But if they're making their perimeter shots, they're virtually unbeatable like that. McCarty has it on the perimeter. That's it to Thompson. And you know, you know what signature too? If you ever play for CI or for Johnson at any point, summer basketball, anything. The way Johnson makes those substitutions, he's so dramatic. He's uh, so dramatic down the back. I know what you mean. The, I gotta pause this before I say it. Yeah. The head cuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he grabs you in the back of the head. Yeah. Pause. She's. What are we talking about? I, yeah, I played AAU ball with him before. It was like one time it was so heated. Like he, he ran past me on the bench just to look at someone and say no. Then come back, pick the guy next to me and, and me, and then and then he right back when the guy scored again, he sat us back down. I was See, like, where's the point? No, no, no. You got to prove something, though. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all about flexing. And if you're a coach, the number one thing you got to do in your plays, you got to flex. You got to know I control your fate. I control your destiny at every point most animated substitutions in the history of Bayman basketball. Uh, I don't know though, you think he got Mario beat? In, in terms of substitutions, yeah. Boy, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, this mom would be crawling on the floor to make a substitution. Listen to me. I'm telling you. We have all seen Mario Bolet coach a lot. That man will lose his entire mind in a game. He'll get it back later. But for right then, he'll lose his mind. I don't know who's got the most animated substitutions. That's a good question. KJ, bro. KJ definitely with the substitutions. Mario just animated on the whole, but on substitutions, it's KJ. So back to the action on the court. Devon Bonamy inbounds it, eventually gets it into the hands of McCarty. Skip pass over to KJ Nixon. Stepped out of bounds. Oh, three in the key. Gonna get Kelson Riley there, called for three seconds. Another, another player I liked from last year on CI's team, Tyrell Butler. Yeah, Tyrell Butler's really good. Smart he's got a player. he's got a little James Harden in his game, and not just because he's left-handed, but he relies a lot on that Euro step. Yeah, some people just have a lot of game. You can't teach it sometimes. Some people just have a lot of game. It's defense though. He draws a lot of fouls. Like I said, he uses that Euro step a lot. He gets to the basket virtually at will. Good outlet pass. Soar on the run out. And one opportunity. They are running this ball right now. That's another bucket yeah. for Terrence Store. He's the leading scorer on this team. He's going to fill it up in a variety of ways. But you can't allow him to run out and get easy fast break points like that. You've got to make him work for it. He, yeah, that's another one. He and he and Butler, they, they did a lot. We saw them at the Nationals too. Had a good show in there. So this team has been together a while. Yeah, it's a very experienced CI Gibson team. They don't have the size that uh, you would typically think that a Rattlers team would have paused. But they're, they're fast, they're athletic. And their shooting has gotten better as the season has gone on. Dario Sanders now brings the ball up. He checks in. So working the ball on the perimeter between roll, store. Block. Good block. 
So it's basically a rugby scrum underneath the basket. Tariko Burrow's getting physical on the inside. Somebody had to get called for a foul. Like, I don't know who it was. See how your offense is patient, though. And they're not afraid to shoot the three. Something, can, something that I love. You can that tell that that has been a focus yeah. for KJ with this team this year. Because if you have an undersized team, obviously you're going to have to be better them. from the perimeter. That's why I said over the course of the season, they've gotten better at it. And that's, what, that's, what, killed them. that's what killed them at Nationals. Their inability they to could not make a perimeter one, three. Yeah, the inability to hit so threes at Nationals. They were basically driving into a brick wall every time, searching for fouls. And if it's a game, you know, referees, they try to get them to call a uniform across the board but they're human so every referee is going to be different and if you have a referee that's not giving you that call you're going to be screwed and just know I don't know what it is with Freeport but they big don't, don't start why. with the conspiracy theories <laughs> I don't know what it is something, something different out there 19 to 3 so you can ignore that that's fine So like we said, a run could erase a deficit quickly or Offense. a game oh, could get out of hand travel. really, really quickly. And this one seems to be getting away from the Timberwolves early. 16-point oh, lead, wow. It's rare you see that so early. Though. Especially in the playoffs. I mean, Anatole, Anatole is going to play tough. Any team McCoy coaches is going to be tough defensively. So for them to give up this much points, I'm surprised he's going with the Phil Jackson route, though. He's just letting him play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he has calm, a, he, he calmed down a lot, though. If you know about McCoy, you already know. He could get a slap or two. Firing Tim with another air ball on the three. McCoy brings with it up. Fast break oh, up shit. He layup. He rushed the finish, though. That's about the second or third time that's happened to him. He he's able to get around the defender yeah, with yeah, a nifty always, move. He always but seems to rush to finish for some some reason or another. I don't know if because he's an undersized guard, he feels he has to throw it up so high. Borrows can hit the layup. Runner. So easy fast break conversion for Devon Bonaby. It's all on the run, but they turn it over. And Farrington is having a tough first yeah, quarter. Yeah, yeah. He can't get out of his own way right now. Airballed a couple free throws and he just lost it. Oh, Trying to drive sometimes, to the sometimes basket. Sometimes just like that. But just have to sit him down for a bit. That's the best basketball analysis you've ever given. What's that? Sometimes it be like that. I mean, like you may not have anything else to say about it. It just be like quarter, that. Dog. Sometimes it just be like that. You got to work your way into the game. I mean, that's facts. Or you could get blown out. It's one of the two, though. But sometimes it be like that, too. Sometimes it does be like <laughs> that. Apparently, it's like that right now. Yeah. So 19-5, to five, they find Derrico Burris in the corner. Stolen by McCarty. Another fast break opportunity. I guess this one. And one opportunity for McCarty. You see what the problem is? Right on. He just can't go with the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, because that layup was way more difficult than the other two that you missed. He made that one with contact. Just go right. Breaks the free throw. Unable to convert the three-point play. So still trailing by double figures here, but chipping away at the lead is the Timberwolves. Offensive foul. They go with the offensive foul on Rico Burrows. Crispin Roll taking that charge to the chest. It's good stuff taking charge. Half court oh. trap here for the Rattlers and they go with the ball. Gets it ahead to Dario Sanders. Foul. Hard foul. 
Understatement. I rubbed some dirt on it and go make a free throw. Contact sport. Makes the first. This is on the second. CI yeah, trying to come up with it. Borrow is on the. No, he lost it. That's about four turnovers back to back now for CI. Starting to get sloppy with the ball. You think it's a case? Is it a case of just, you know, Johnson. KJ going? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> is it just a case of him going deeper? to his bench or is it that you know you get a big lead that early you just tend to get kind no, of no no I think I think I think it's just because he went to the bench and he's definitely not going to the bench after that though whole fives I can guarantee that whole five out right now so Andre Calvert he is a very good shooter he makes a three yeah, yeah. from the corner as time expires it's, 20 it's a fast paced game today 20 to 10 at the end of the first quarter We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> So we're back for the second quarter. Rattlers able to maintain a high scoring quarter for CI Gibson by Chichi Molasse standards. He put up 20 in the first. Yeah. So able to maintain a 10 jump, point jump lead throughout. What's the difference in that one? So Firington, after missing a couple in the first quarter, he's obviously not shy to keep taking them. But didn't they tell you Johnson was changing the five? He absolutely did. So <laughs> five. He was changing the five. Premeditated pause, everybody got the head cuff. Get out of here. See you in the second half. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Kevin Thompson at the line misses the first. Misses both. Rattler, Rattler gets it. it into the hands of Butler, and they come the opposite way. Oh, pull up. Just long. He gets virtually no lift on his three, and yeah. it looks weird every time, especially for somebody that you know, you know, has got some bounce. I can. It's just the way he's comfortable, I guess. Has to be. But they probably would want him to get a little more left on that. Door. That's probably why it goes long so much. The Calvert steps out of bounds. Trying to pump fake and make a move to the basket. I'm telling you, Butler and Snow would make every game a tough game. That's probably the best backcourt in the GSSC. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Maybe the best backcourt. Period. I was, I was just going to say high school basketball. Right, yeah. 
And one thing about Seattle, they never have like a really, really big man. They have like this five, ten guy who could just do like a world of post moves. They used to though. Always. Yeah. Well, way back. But it's like this it's like this five eleven guy that could really jump. So another unforced turnover for the Timberwolves. That's their second in a row. Two trips up the court, you get a travel, and then you just throw the ball away. I'm surprised Seattle Gibson hasn't been able to take advantage of some of those turnovers. Well, they're committing a whole bunch themselves. Yeah, that's what it is. Cameron Sherrod gets blocked on that. And Seattle brings it up. Dario Son is looking to make something happen. Wow. And a wild shot by Shara. I don't know how he got that one to fall. It was a turnaround. I think he closed his eyes a little bit too. I mean, as long as it goes in. That's what counts. So the pace of the game has slowed down yeah. here. Yeah, Anatol has hit the score for the quarter. When the Rattlers bring in Saunders at the point yep. and Butler's not controlling the ball, it's a more slow-paced game. Stork. Yo, but Stork could get anywhere on the court anytime he wants to. Fakes the three. Turnover. McCarty on the run out. Leads to another turnover, wow. That would have been a good opportunity to capitalize on. That's four turnovers for the quarter. Yep. When you're trying to fight your way back into a game down double figures, you just yeah. can't shoot yourself in the foot like that, giving up an easy fast break opportunity. Stall looking to make something happen. They ran that little high, that little high low pass a few times. They, they get us some good looks on it too, but it just not able to convert. Did they just run a pick and roll? Yeah, no, they've been, they've been running that a lot, but and getting good looks too. I was about to say, I never see anybody run pick and rolls in this game. <laughs> what was it? Was it a foul call? Yeah, yeah. Loose ball. But Thompson inbounds it. So yeah, McCarty's McCarty looking to pass. He has to look just attack on a few plays and try to see what the defense will give him. Other than the one fast break layup, he struggled so yeah. far. So, Anasol Rogers, if this comeback is going to happen, and again, well, another unforced turnover. Well, it's because he's looking to defer so much. That's number six in the quarter. With him looking to defer, it, it slows the offense. So they're just at standstill pace. As someone that played AAU with KJ, do you understand anything he says when he shouts? No. Because I don't understand one thing. No. Yeah, I don't you, even make eye contact with him. You think that's why the players get in problems so much? Because he over there shouting stuff, but none of them could understand what the hell he's saying? I mean, I mean, it's mostly, he mostly shout defense. Like, that's about it. Like, yeah. Like it's a lot of shouting, but he just really saying defense a lot, like a few times. Defense. All right, let me see. If, let me see if I can try to figure something out. I'll Watch. try to decipher. I got, I got no idea. I was like trying to understand Spanish. Well, see, you look at the fingers too. He doesn't like ah, pointing. Ah, the so pointing. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You go with the pointing. Okay. Yeah, I would be buried at the end of the bench. Nah, he animated. I would be like, he's bro, I got no idea what you're talking nah, about. Nah, but he's super anim He's super animated though. I tell you that. It's the playoffs. He always like that. You're lucky he ain't wearing a tie. No, but ain't nothing like when you, I just gonna say, when you see him come out in the suit, that's different. The store misses the three from the corner. Both he and Butler missed a few threes so far. Struggling from behind the three point line after making a, third, a few early. Just four points in this quarter so far. Yeah. Anasol Rogers still has yet to score in the period. And we're about two minutes in. Oh, yeah, everything's just slower. It's 
like everything they're doing is just like right right under the rim. That's that's why. It's Jump like ball a drum. and possession goes to CI Gibson. Saunders now checks back into the game. He's like he's the he's definitely the slower down point guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Set it up or reset the play. Let's see what we got. And when they want to press, when they when they bring on that that half court trap that they love to run so much, they go with Butler and Store in the back court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're athletic enough to do it. You got to so, play to the personnel, I guess. So twenty four to ten. Anasol Rogers. I don't know how you get back into this game. I don't know what is going to change the top, the momentum. You need somebody to step up and fill that void. We, we talked about it early in the first quarter. We used to see this team down in this spot several times, but you had Dominic Bridgewater that would just say, carry the team. And you got someone go, who could give you 40 and 10. He would much. go through a run of 10, 15 points all on his own. They right. also had Devano Whitfield who was on the national team, and he's also at high school in the United States now. So this team lost a lot of firepower. A lot of they lost, lost a lot, a lot of, height, of height. A lot of size, yeah. Still a playoff team, though, so you still have to respect the fact that they made it here. It's a reason they're in this spot. They've just got to go out there and show it. But C.I. Gibson right now, the Rattlers can't be content because yeah. they're up by 14, but they aren't playing well either. Well, well 14 points ain't, mu ain't much when the team is rolling. They knock that lead down in a hurry, so they got to they gotta continue to try to score and continue to try to be aggressive. They can't just sit on, sit on the ball. McCarty controls. Skip pass. And Devon Barnaby banks it in. Strong if that's what they make drew it up out of the timeout, that's a great play. And Butler get into the rim. Looking to get some points at the line. They could do that every play if they wanted to, honestly. Brooks the first. This is the longest free throw sequence yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah. seen. Yeah. Makes a second. I guess it was for a reason. See, you got to go. He has, he has to talk in this one. Or shoot it from 40 feet up. I mean, even that, just do something aggressive. And I think during that, during that break in action, McCoy told them, "Listen, y'all got to put up some shots." Yeah, what y'all doing? It working? Trying to drive to the basket and throw up ill-advised layups. That's not working. They are just killing them with turnovers. Offensive foul call on Paul. I am not even going to try and pronounce his last name. Anyway. That guy got called for an offensive foul. Ooh. Don't worry about it. I just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. I Don't pull those in. I'm buying like two people. Store with the seal on the fast break. Oh. Butler again looking for a drive. Travel. McCarty forcing a turnover there. Neither team is. I mean, ball security has just been awful in this yeah, entire yeah. quarter. They took, an, it, they took this one off. I don't know if Anatol gets to take a quarter off. Well, they did anyway. Oh, there you go. Offense. Thompson has come alive and given this team a spark. We said somebody had to do it. 
Thompson looks to be that guy. He had the big three coming out of the timeout and now a chance for a three point play. So he has all five points in the quarter for Anatol. Lead is still 10, though. That's still a long ways to go. This. But Lomas turns it over, able to get it back. Throws it inside. They come up short on the three. Saunders looking for three there, but comes up short. Wolves ball. Cardi gets it over half court. Surveying the perimeter. Thompson again with the spin move. It's long. The first spin move. Right. Kelson Riley on the putback. That's his second putback of the game. So momentum shifting a little bit, a little bit here. Butler walks into one. Misses again. Party with a oh, step. Pass Great pass. The party. Great pass to set up Barnaby. Great pass. Like you said, he's at his best when he's a distributor. Yep. That was an incredible pass. Way oh. to finish the break. Barnaby was making a pass of his own, but offensive foul. I thought he was in the restricted area, though. And Thompson has seven of the nine points for the Timberwolves in this quarter and they are back in this game. He said it was a game of runs. This is a run from Anatol now. Yeah, they're right back in it. Well, you kind of knew they just wasn't going to lay down like that though. No, I actually thought they would. I thought that was it. I thought we had an early night. I was ready to go home. I mean, it's not a lot of fouls though, so it's still early. Oh, that's a really fast break. Shot Cambridge. Get into the room. So how either team finishes this quarter, or finishes the half rather, is going to say a lot. Yeah. Does C.I. Gibson, you know, correct a lot of the wrongs that they that they've been going through this quarter because they only put up five points. It's been a struggle. Does Anatol continue the run and take this momentum into the half? Wow. Cambridge comes up empty. But he'll get one more. Lane violation on McCarty. Lane violations have to be the most annoying call in basketball, huh? No, I ain't gonna lie. When it happened to your team, you hate referees so much. Especially if you're trying to box with someone bigger than you. Like, just let it ride. Just let it go, dog. Riley tries a baseline. J. Byrington with the steal. I had one opportunity. And he'll go to the line. So Farrington will go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Trying to keep the team close. Split to that line, they still trail six. Rodler's gonna hold it for the last possession. Guess not. I feel like you don't get to hold it for the last possession. Yeah, I guess not. Cardi bringing the ball in. Oh, and he loses it. Off the knee, yeah. Off the guard. Cambridge has to make a long pass. No, nope. goes with the short. 
All right, so that's the half. CI Gibson Rattlers lead by six. Yeah, they can't be happy with that quarter. Though. We'll be back in a moment. A record for the shortest halftime ever. I didn't even have time to correctly line up anything with the plug. I'll get, to, I'll get back to the plug later. Wait, honestly, that was five minutes. It was like less than five minutes. That's, five, that's a five minute off. I was trying to make a concession sign run, thinking about it. No time. You think it's the NBA? Anderson Rogers ain't even back at the bench yet. C.I. Gibson's so already on the board. Calling. We got to be on by 8, eight o'clock. You think anybody got homework to do? Right. You think anybody doing their homework? Yes, this? Baby. got to. We don't support by grids on 10 days. That's a fact. No, no, of course not. I mean, it depends on how good you are, though. Yeah, you're right. But still. What? That's life. That's real life. Derek Rose ain't study. So Jason McCarty controls it. Anasol Rogers possession. Firington with another three. He has yet to make one. The pass for Butler. Roll with the pull-up jumper. And that's good. Excuse me, that's Cameron Shearer with the J. Anatol looking to make something happen, but another turnover and wow. But in Tavon one Scott turns it right back over. In one possession, CI yeah, Gibson yeah. looks better than they did the entire second quarter. McCarty sneaks in for the layup. Is Butler doing that James Harden kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah. All right, tell me what, what KJ is saying right now. 
I hit somebody. Touch somebody. That's football. I guess he mean, I don't know. I didn't see no picks, but I guess that's what he mean. Butler splits it at the line. So the lead is back up to seven. Anatol looking to make something happen. Oh. And they get to keep it. Kind of a careless pass. Long range shot by Barnaby. So here we go, just a two possession game. Right back in it. Power to three. This is everything. Or well, when you don't make them. Yeah. Looks it's, like I mean, it's not the power of the three then. Uh, it just looks like that. Three's like your weakness then. Probably going to go back to it again. There you go. Oh, he misses this one. That was a heat check, though. Yeah. That's allowed. You knew it was coming. McCarty misses the fader. Anatol fighting hard on the inside. Chance to cut it to two, just like that. After being down 16. Then the Rodgers are panicking yet. D'Angelo Higgs at the line. His first trip for the game. And we have a two point game. Timberwolves extend that pressure to full court. Butler keeps it himself. Stars been pretty quiet so far. A few moments in the first quarter, but that was about it for it. Yeah, the momentum has definitely shifted at yeah. this point. You, fe you felt it come in pause since the middle of the second quarter. <laughs> Good catch. So, firmly with the Timberwolves right now. Oh, and we got a carry. A carry. A re that's really gone. He must not play 2K. Clearly not. The ref clearly doesn't play 2K. You think we got a referee over here that plays 2K? No way. We got a couple of young refs. No way. Yeah, but they don't play 2K. I feel like your boy who's a ref who works oh, nationals, yeah, 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 he plays 2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, probably, he probably do play 2K. Easy steal by Store. He gets out on the break. with the looking to make something happen for his team. Takes it all the way in. And he gets the foul. I'm telling you, all the SU is stay aggressive. He has too many lapses where he, he, he defers and just looks away and doesn't look to score. That was a great move splitting that double team, mm -hmm. though. It don't make sense being able to do it if you don't do it. Misses the first. Unable to cut the lead to one. There come the Rattlers the other way. Strong Roll with the five the star. I felt that Anatole might have got away with a foul there. Shara with the follow. That's his second score of the quarter. Straight down. Anatole misses. Looking for a foul there. D'Angelo Higgs didn't come up with one. Here comes Butler. Stop, pop, no tough good. Shot. That's a tough shot. You don't want that. Snow is able to bail him out. Good steal. Oh, get that out of there. So we had one of those helter skelter periods that we usually have in a lot of these games where you 
we just go in a trance and we can't call anything because the ball changes possessions six times in two seconds. So we really got nothing to say. Even how quiet it is, no one even understands what's going on. Because right you got no idea what's going on. No one knows. So we really just sit there and we watch until the dust settles. Right, that's a definite possession. Roll in the post. A lot of elbow in that possession. A lot of elbows in that possession. We have a post move sighting. That's the first one in the game, man. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, sight. Saunders for three. He's not shy on that. I don't talk allow a lot of second chance points in there. I dare you to try his name. Go ahead. Number 10 that just made the shot. Erquintel, Erquintel edge. So that guy hit a fadeaway. That was pretty good for first try. Right? I'm not sure if it's right, but I'm saying that's right. <laughs> 33 sound advice from KJ. Drive to the basket. <laughs> I feel like he didn't have to tell them that. I feel like when you put on a C.I. Gibson uniform, that's a staple. <laughs> Try like you just you just know. Oh man, Try to the basketball. Automatically, something sweeps over you that allow that doesn't allow you to it's take a jump shot. Ooh, deep three. Devin Bonamy hits a that's the second one for the half so far. He's not he's not shy on the three. So there's. But he's making well, I don't even know if you would call it a supporting cast right now because this is just a balanced scoring attack. But Anatole Rogers now getting that contribution from several different guys. Yeah. I mean, they always play by committee. It's just that they had someone to pick them up when they fell. Fast break chance for Thompson. Wow. Son is. That's on this story, but uh, Thompson missed McCarty wide open on, on the break. Definitely gonna hear about that one. And throws the turnover. And gives up the opportunity. He's definitely gonna hear about that tomorrow. That is a triple whammy on one possession. Terrence Store had been quiet for quite some time. chance for a three-point play and he converts Anatole has been living by the three for a while it's really gotten them back into this game Yeah, but they're mixing it up there. They're getting to the room too. A lot of a lot of aggressive drives. So Nixon at the line. Looking to get himself going. <laughs> so Harcourt McCoy getting after the referees now. <laughs> this is how you get a call. I mean, he wa he wants he wants D. Yeah. <laughs> what? You heard him ask for it. I'm not making that up. John, did you not hear it? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah he, asked, he asked uh, for a chance for some D. <laughs> John said, what are you talking about? John said, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't get me in that. No, baseball update. Kaizen CM1, 18 to 0. It's very important. Yeah. Okay, so Terrence Store at the line. Yeah. 
Look at the stretch that lead out the double digits again, man. Right before the fourth quarter, the best time. Offensive rebound for the Rattlers. Second shot opportunity. Store once again looking to make Store it Store push out of bounds. You knew that was going to be a foul. Yeah, he had him beat on the dribble. Couldn't get in front of him. Any bonus? Yep. So after fighting back so hard to get into this game, Anasol Rogers yeah, finds himself yeah, the in the same. They find themselves in the same position that they were late in that first quarter. Oh. Well, it was just poor fouls now. They're just reaching now. They're not, they're not really moving their feet. Body language is off. You're yeah. trailing by double digits. But C.I. Gibson Fatigue scoring could be an easy issue points for at the free throw line. Well, yeah, because it takes so much to work your way back into a game. Calvert was a strong drive to the basket, yeah. and he'll go to the line now. Everybody's going to the line. There's a whole lot of, a whole lot of free throws. And this is the first after big bumps. Good on the second. Bundle to the rim. Oh, misses the easy layup. Lead is still 10. Now, this last two minutes and 30 seconds are going to be huge for Anderson Rogers. You can't go into the fourth quarter down 10. Cardi with a good feed. Calvin almost. Another, Calvin makes his first three of the game. Almost on cue when we said they can't take that 10 point deficit into the fourth. Yeah, they make a three and really they get a stop. Some easy shots, though. They're missing some easy, easy shots. Takes it all the way and nothing. So the Timberwolves get to maintain possession. Under two minutes left to play. Critical possession here. Opportunity to get it to five, maybe even four. On the three? On to be again? No. This is Bacardi gets the rebound. Third chance opportunity on one possession. Takes it in. Oh, good step. He had to step but misses it. Three chances to score, but they come up empty every time. Oh. Tough miss. Barnaby stop pop three. Off the, oh, he tried to make up glass, no good. Right now things just all over the place. Calvert got it for three. Gets to McCarty. And that just misses. So no one able to find the bottom of the net. Offensive. All right, that was a lot. Yeah. They're making me tired. I just watching. That's a lot of running up and down. Yeah. Somebody call a timeout. I need a timeout. <laughs> Less than a minute left. Calvert. Looking for a foul, nothing. Won't get it. So C.I. Gibson will come the other way. Ruin has been dominant on the inside, rebounding too. Kicks out to the top. They're probably over the last shot in this one though, what you think? And with no shot clock, you can do that in 35 oh, no. seconds. There you go. 
<laughs> you know the pressure was coming. Butler's going to find a way to draw a foul, and he's going to find a way to get to the line. He's one of those people, like, even though you might not see it, when you see the uh, box squad, and he might have, like, 16 points, 17 points. Are you trying to figure out how? All of these trips to the free throw line. So he makes the first one when both teams were desperately struggling to score. I mean, despite the back and forth, they're still up eight. With a chance to go up again. Still on the break. Whoa. Acrobatic layup there. And I think he got teed up. Yeah, he was pretty upset he didn't get that foul. I thought he was going to get that foul. I mean, too. I mean, it was a foul. Pretty. I would be pretty upset. I, I mean, in the air, he, he was in the air. He was going to dunk it. That could have turned out really, really poorly. And I don't blame the wall ain't moving, man. I don't blame Calvert who was playing defense. It was it was kind of incidental, but you still, I think you've got to call that foul At the on same that spot. The wall ain't moving. Man. Of course not. <laughs> so. And it's not even just a wall, it's being in the... You basically give up your body when you go up for a dunk. Yep. So somebody comes under you and they bridge you when that when that happens. Just got to hope for the best at that point. It could have been really bad. I mean, it wasn't... I don't know what he said. You know what he said. You better call he, that. He probably said yeah. that was a foul, man. Yeah. You can put I'm it like somewhat... Up, yeah, I'm, you can put it like I'm mildly discontent that you didn't call that foul. So it's a nine point, nine point lead after all that back and forth. 44-35, headed into the fourth quarter. Do the Timberwolves have one more run? And Do the Rattlers hold on? We'll be back for the fourth quarter in a few. All right, eight minutes left to go. 44-35. Timberwolves desperately need a run. Rattlers can seal it with a run of their own. I think you're going to see CI slow down a lot this, this quarter. Just try to hold on to the lead. I don't think they know how to do that. I think, I think they're working around. I'd love to work it around as long as they're up. At least by eight. Stores floaters no good. Store on the break once again. Misses the dunk. You think he was so pissed off from the foul? Oh, he got another chance again. I won this time, though. 
I think he kind of baited him into that foul. Okay, I got it. So always lay it up. Yeah. No, no, no. Except for if you have if you have a chance to dunk on someone, then you never lay it up. I mean, I wouldn't know because I've never dunked. Never in my life. And that's gotta hurt. You get called for a lane violation, and the the, uh, the opposing team's not even on the line. I mean, but they technically they should be able to play that though. It was one. You, sh you should be able to get that rebound and go up. So two lane violations. <laughs> the opposing team's not on the line, and it turns into a three point play. How about that? How was he able to stay on the court after that? Cardi long three. So Butler dribbles out of the corner, slows it up. Travel. Sanders call for the travel. CI has been killing them on that baseline pass. Too. We're almost approaching scary hours at this point. The lead is still double figures. Anasol Rogers is not really chipping away at it at all. Like I said, the lead players are deferring just a bit too much. What's, what got them back into the game is the perimeter shot really opening up their offense. Well, if they, well, CI has adjusted the defense to uh, um, Santa and Armonaby, who was the main one hitting the threes. They've done a good job stopping them. Like I said, they're just going to pat the ball for a while, run some time off the clock. It's a good move, though. Roll was not listening to your game plan. I mean, it was four passes, though. Four passes is a lot. That is a lot. That's more than I would make. Mm -hmm. I got like one. Work. Misses the first. Makes that work. So now the lead is 13, and I think this may be the biggest lead of the game for CI Gibson, if I'm not mistaken. No, they, had, they had a 15 point earlier. Okay, so Early I am mistaken. Game, yeah. That's why you're here. Correct my flaws. <laughs> now they're just cold from behind the three point line. Farrington 0 for 6 from 3. I can keep stats too. Yeah. And you're right, I think the Rattlers are content now at this point I'm to take the air you, out of the I'm ball. I'm telling you, that's, that's all you got to do. They're like a team in football protecting the lead by just is, keeping it on the ground. That is all you have to do They right got now. no reason to pass. I don't feel like they're afraid of the Anzal Rogers offense enough to, to continue, no, no, no. continue playing. All they're doing is just protecting the three-point line, keeping the lead at 10. A double figures and that's it. And you see why? Because one pass later, Anasol Rogers turns the ball right back over. So CI Gibson will have an opportunity now to maybe take another minute off the clock with each possession. KJ just told him just work it around. Like I said, I they ain't trying to get no type close finish going on. Like this just they're trying to end this just like this. I thought he was trying to do like what they would do in baseball where you give like a fake signal so he's shouting out go to the rack. What he really means is under no circumstance you go to the rack or I destroy you. No? Just go to the rack? Let's go to the All rack. Right. I, mean, I mean you're up 13 with less than 5 left to play. Looking to get into the lead a little bit. Kevin Thompson. Guess that wasn't the fall. So 
one thing about when you're down too, it feels like time moving really, really fast when you're down. It does. Yeah. The two time periods in life where time moves at a ridiculous pace, when you wake up late to go to the gym, yep. and when you down six in the fourth quarter of a basketball game. Yep. Oh, just Mr. Style, one opportunity. Thompson getting aggressive, working his way to the line again. Trying to keep his team in it. It'll take about 20 seconds before they shoot again. You're gonna if need they, those. If they could help it, if they could help it. I guess not. Oh yeah, that's it. Bench. Oh, come on. You gotta make that. And he got up so high. I thought he was gonna dunk it. Store with the runner. No Run. good. Ball stay. And it'll stay with C.I. Gibson. Time Rattlers, 50-36. He's upset because they didn't hold the ball. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Just about four minutes left to play. Do you think Anastol Rogers has another run in them? I, it has to come soon at this point. If it doesn't happen within the next minute, like, I mean, that's a wrap. It's going to be difficult for them to do that just based solely on the fact that, like we mentioned, C.I. Gibson is content to just pass the ball around on the perimeter, play four corners, take the air out of the ball. They could they could really win this game with this 50 points. I mean, that's literally, I think that's, that's about to happen. Unless Anatol could show something right away. Son just gets it into roll. He'll take a three. Misses, Misses it. Off, you can't offensive let him get rebound. That offensive rebound when you're down. Oh, he takes it in this time. A nice pass. pass to roll. It's a lot of passing going on. A little too much. So roll tries to go behind the back and find Shara. Yeah, but these possessions are taking time off the clock, though. That one was 30, 20 seconds. Under locking down on defense. That's foul. He's blocked, but it's a foul, so he'll go to the line to tack on and add to this lead. Store makes a first. So C.I. Gibson equals the largest lead of the game if our statistician is correct. That's a 15 point lead. 320 left to play. There you go, third three of the game. Barnaby again from long range. He's been the solo long distance threat all night. Oh, but they're giving Sanders it Sanders with a nice move. Starting to unravel a little bit now. Oh, he was trying to end it just now. Good ball movement. Great ball movement. Absolutely right. You beat Allow me to Sharon it. Allow to come away with the easy layup. And just like that, it's almost, a two, almost two minutes. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. And it's all Rogers just wasn't getting enough stops. Yep. You come up with the three-pointer, but you give up two easy fast break points for C.I. Gibson. And just like that, your three is erased. And it, it's been ball security. Too many turnovers. C. 
see how it's, it's just too long a stretch without points. They, before that three by Bonnie, they went about two minutes without scoring. Yeah. When you're down, you can't have that. Now they're just going to sit on the ball a little longer. In no kind of hurry. Farrington gets in the hands of McCarty. Good layup, good finish. Store tried to line him up for the block, but McCarty's able to finish. Store looking to make something happen. Maybe a little answer. McCarty on the break. Finding has been consistent inside all night. Finally gets one of those left-handed floaters to fall. And there's Butler, and that'll probably be enough to get it done. Oh, no, yeah, no. A minute 30 left to play now. Tracy McGrady ain't walking through that door. No, no 13 points in 30 seconds. Was it 30 seconds? 35. That's, that's still the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in, in the NBA. Never made it out the first round. Dude. Don't matter. That's the second most ridiculous thing. <laughs> don't, don't, don't matter. How did he make the Hall of Fame? I mean, I guess he had a nice little Pay stretch. Some money. No, but it for was a good couple for like two years. For, no, not it was longer than two years. Three for years, a stretch, so. he was on par with Kobe. No, he wasn't. It was like three years. He was good. You could tell the younger generation that nobody will believe it, but for a couple of years, he was right there with Kobe. He was alright. He wasn't there with Kobe. Okay, Butler just looking to mix him up a little bit now. Ooh, good pass. Just picking him apart now. They do realize they can do this all the time, right? Like yeah. if you be if you play basketball more unselfishly, these plays would be routine. Like this is this is not something you have to do just when the game's out of hand and you feel comfortable. Y'all can do this all the time. Yeah. It's effective though. to lead the 14. Long pass. Russia want to be. So under a minute left now. And the number one seeded Rattlers Looking like a number one seed. Like they have all year. This team has yet to lose a game this season. This defense has been the difference all night. Bro. And Jericho Knowles just throws it away. Timeout. And the Rattlers time call timeout for some reason. <laughs> Up 12 with 30 seconds left to play. Never too late to run a play. Maybe it's them being considerate, uh, allowing people to leave the gym <laughs> I think that's ahead of time. This song is going to be played forever. Like, I feel like there'll never be a point where this song is not played. I the last three nights I get sick of this. Don't play that one. <laughs> this ain't the place for that. Oh, 
I don't know why they're rushing it so much. The game is basically done. And the ref is still calling the fouls. Of course they are. Don't do that. <laughs> so the Rattlers will take 16. Try another one. Shaq Gibson will probably hold. They'll take a 12 point win. And that'll do it. So C.I. Gibson still remains untested for the most part. That'll do it for our coverage. Tomorrow, me and Randy will be back at BAISS. John will be here. That's it for 10 years, genius for the night. Y'all say yep.